Thanks for joining me here at Crossing the Line. I'm your host, Isaac King. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Now let's get into it. So we've got a hilarious story coming at uh, TimCast.com. Governor J.B. Pritzker orders an emergency declaration following arrival of illegal immigrants from Texas. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Texas Governor Greg Abbott have been exchanging barred comments for the last month. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has issued an emergency disaster proclamation to allow the state to use government resources to manage the influx of illegal immigrants that were sent to the state from Texas. So if you don't know, Texas sent a busload of 50 people to the very rich, the very white, the very wealthy uh, Martha's Vineyard, which is where people like uh, Obama are building their houses and... Um, very wealthy, very wealthy demographic. And I don't know if you noticed, but they don't seem to like poor people there. So they're chucking the shits about uh, Texas governor sending the uh, immigrants there because Texas has immigrants bust in there by Democrats by the thousands. They're sending all these illegal immigrants into Texas to pretty much run Texas into the ground because they don't agree with what they're doing. And so now they've done it back to them. They've given it, they've given them some back. The order activates the Illinois National Guard and permits the Illinois Emergency Management Agency to work the state and local agencies to provide the migrants with transport, emergency shelter and housing, food, health screenings, medical assessments, treatments and other services. Today, I signed a disaster proclamation allowing the state to speed up the procurement of immediate resources needed to help Chicago, Cook County, and other jurisdictions provide humanitarian assistance to the asylum seekers who were being sent to our state with no official advance notice by the governor of Texas, said Governor J.P. Pritzker, is in his September 14th announcement. Let me be clear. While other states may be treating these vulnerable families as pawns, here in Illinois, we are treating them as people. What did you do to them? You shipped them off to a military base? Oh, that's treating them as people. You could have put them up in Obama's place. Well, he's got seven rooms and no, they've got 12 rooms and seven bathrooms or some shit like that in his mansion. According to the governor's office, many of the illegal immigrants require treatment for malnourishment, dehydration, asthma in children, as well as a foot injury and wound care. They are also in need of mental health assessments and care, but care to begin to recover from the traumas experienced on their journey. And according to the state, uh, according to the state from Pritzker's office, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has set, has been busing people who illegally crossed the US-Mexico border to major cities, including Washington, New York, uh, and New York City to demonstrate the impact of illegal immigration on small Texas border communities. He added Chicago to the list of his destinations. President Biden's inaction at the southern border continues putting the lives of Texans and Americans at risk. Is overwhelming. It's overwhelming our communities, Abbott said, per Fox News. To continue providing much-needed relief to our small overrun border towns, Chicago will join fellow sanctuary cities, Washington, D.C., and New York City as an additional drop-off location. Mayor Lightfoot, who is uh, some gremlin-looking ugly old bitch with a fish head, uh, Trout, oh no, tout. Mary Light, uh, Mayor Lightfoot loves to tout the responsibility of her city to welcome all, regardless of legal status. And I look forward to seeing the responsibility in action as these migrants receive resources from the sanctuary city with the capacity to serve them, which is great because Chicago's just decided that they're going to have a purge um, and pretty much legalize murder, kidnapping, and all sorts of shit. We'll see how that goes at the start of next year, shall we? Approximately 500 migrants arrived in Chicago since Abbott made his announcement. Chicago Mayor uh, Laurie Lightfoot attacked Abbott for sending migrants to a city as un-American and racist. Of course she does. At the press, at the press conference in September 4, she said Abbott was manufacturing a human crisis. He professes to be a Christian, Lightfoot said. This is not Christianity This and the teaching of the Bibles that I know. Subsequently, reports emerged that at least 100 migrants that arrived in Chicago have been bused to nearby suburbs with no notice from Lightfoot or other officials. Mayors from Elk Grove Village and Burr Ridge notified the government's officials in the de uh, development on September 9th and September 10th. 
So much of Chicago's welcoming city ordinance, these Democrats elites are absolute, absolute hypocrites, and now the hypocrisy is on full display for the entire nation. Renee is Abbott's press secretary in a statement to Fox News Digital on September 14th. The government prits... The Governor Pritzker and Mayor, uh, Mayor Lightfoot have been complaining about a few hundred migrants being pushed into a self-declared sanctuary city in Chicago and then turn around and dump them in the suburbs for Republican mayors to deal with. Instead of complaining about fulfilling their welcome in city promises, these Democrat hip hypocrites should call on President Biden to do his job and secure the border, something the President continues failing to do, she added. Lightfoot said that the, uh, she applauded Governor Pritzker and the team for putting a declaration of state emergency in place we will bolster the city's efforts to ensue, ensure new migrants are received, provided with assistance and to, importantly treated with dignity and respect. It's fucking hilarious. They get 50, 50 migrants bus there, 50 of them, and they declare a state of emergency. I say send a thousand then they can all go and stay at Obama's place and stay at his place and Martha's Vineyard. They're all rich people. Why can't they give them a room? Give them a room. They, they're the ones signing all these orders and laws letting them into the country and not turning them around at the border, not building the wall. Let them come and live with you. What's wrong with that? You're a, hum you're a human person. You're a humanitarian. You... You know, you're a Democrat. You you love people, don't you? You love helping out the trodden and the poor. Why don't you let these people live with you? 50 people and they declare a disaster. Imagine if it was a thousand. Holy shit, would that be fucking hilarious. Rules for you and not for me. Yet again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.